Thank you for clicking on this video today. I'm going to be teaching you how to make a batch file that basically lets you change the password of any user on your PC. It's actually very simple. So this video is perfect for beginners. And by the way, this video is for educational purposes only, and I'm only showing you this so you understand it better. And at the end, I will show you how to protect yourself against this. I do sound a little sick right now because of allergies. I was fishing this morning, so maybe I'm allergic to fish or something. I don't even know. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So first we got to understand what we're actually going to be doing within the batch file because a batch file is just the script that basically runs command prompt commands back to back first we need to plan out the theory like how are we actually going to be doing this there's this command in command prompt called net user so this shows me all the users on my pc we have administrator we have boris which is me and we have all these other default accounts basically to change a user's password you would need to type net user the username of the account that you want to change so let's say I wanted to change the administrator password, that would be administrator, and then you just type the password. So if I want to change it to 1234, it would change the administrator's password to 1234. The only catch is that a user needs administrative privileges to be able to do this, but other than that, it literally works. And the next logical step is to actually put this in a script. So we got Notepad++ right here, and um, just for syntax highlighting, you can go to language and change it to batch. Actually, wait, I'll show you my inspiration for, you know, this entire video, basically. So if you've been around the block, you might recognize this. But if you don't, let me show it to you. Basically, it's the same thing as the tool that we're going to be making today. So it has a login. Um, and once you're here, you can exit. You can hack an account. You can create a new account. You can list the accounts on the computer. Let's say, for example, we wanted to hack the account we type list to find the name of the account okay so let's say we already have administrator we type administrator and we just type its new password and it just gets changed so quick account hacking tool qaht that's the first thing that i kind of used that taught me this whole um net user trick and it's really easy so that's why we're making our own and this is optional but you could have a login just like the original um bro it's so 2012 but like i guess you could so if the password does not equal to Ebola, we're going to exit. Here, we'll also give it a nice title. We'll say Ebola's. Hey! Oh my God, man. Whenever spring comes around, this type of stuff starts happening. Ebola's hack. Nah, we're keeping it family friendly here. Let's go. Cybersecurity tool. There we go. Okay, so now we're in and i think we should have a menu so that basically shows all the options oh wait we could do something fancy here we could do like i used to do this all the time a few empty lines so option one is going to be list users section sex second option is going to be create a new user third one's going to be change change a user's password and fourth one's gonna be for all the devious signals we're gonna do we're gonna do delete a user all right so this looks good we're just gonna separate it okay here we go here we go now for the input we're just gonna go set dash p input which awaits an input and we're going to put in because like his tool had something weird like this you know I'm, like what the hell is that we need we need like an actual like something there you know for the inputs i usually just go on some like ascii code thing and find something here like this arrow right here here we go this is the side that i usually use okay so the basic decision would be like this double arrow right here but come on that's boring we need something we need something that people don't usually do here we could use the copyright symbol for all the times i've been copyrighted on youtube here, so that's going to be our input. And now we just got to make a bunch of if statements. So we go four options. We go boom, boom, boom. And actually, you know, let's make a fifth. Let's make a five exit. Okay, so option one, we list users. This one was easy. It's just net user. And then um, net user. I don't know if I have OCD, but this, this doesn't work. Both of them need to be lowercase. Come on. Don't make me switch over to, to Visual Studio Code. So it switches, then we're gonna do a pause, then we're gonna go back to the menu. So we have to set a tag here, and this is gonna be a subroutine now. So when this is done, we go pause, we clear the screen, and then we go to menu. 
If you want to make it look good, you can select all of this and hit tab. Second one. Oof. Okay, wait, I forgot this one. If you ever forget how to do a command, you just do this question mark net user question mark. Okay, so we can delete one. We have this right here. There we go. Add. Okay, so we all do this with net user. So to add a user, we go, we go net user and then the username of whatever they call it and then add. Don't we need to give it a password? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Net user, username and then whatever the password is chosen and then add. Okay, wait, so in my opinion, we should also clear before we do the actual command so it looks clean. So we're gonna clear and we're gonna make an input for the username and the password. So should I go all caps in the beginning of them or not? Cause I don't know, I feel like it's unprofessional this way, but at the same time, it's just, it doesn't look as good. But I, I don't want them to be capital either cause then it looks like I'm too chalant. That's too much yapping, bro. Okay, look, how about we just go like username no, 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 dude, notepad++ might be against me. It's actually, it's actually, it's doing the opposite of what I asked. We're going to go password. Then we just throw some percentage marks around it because that's how you refer to a variable in batch. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so far this is looking good. Uh, let's just finish these up. So third one is change a user's password. This one's easy. I'm going to go target user. And next input is going to be new password. Okay, so now it's going to change that username's password to the new password. There we go. Ooh, now delete a user account. Okay. You know what? Even though we could do this, like if you're deleting someone's account, respectfully, you're a piece of <laughs> like, why would you do that? You can change their password. You can, you know, tr mess with them. But are you really just going to delete their entire account? What type of person are you? So, you know what we're going to do instead? We're going to delete system 32. Okay, we know we just need to give them a warning. You have no morals. Sad face. Actually, no. We, we got to do like an angry. Okay, what am I doing? Then we got the last option and over here we just exit. All right, so let's save this, test it out. Enter password. Oh, what the hell? Okay, so the copyright symbol isn't showing up because our code page isn't right. We got to go CHCP. We got to do this command beforehand. I also got such a good idea. So whenever you choose one of the options, it changes the title of the window. So wait here, let me close this. So over here, for example, we would do title um, list users. Okay, so we need to come up with something, something cool, light green. Ooh, okay, I like this one. I like this one. Okay, let's do that. Okay, let's run this. Oof, ooh, the copyright symbol. Ugh. You know, I'm used to seeing that one. Okay, let's list the users, user accounts. Yes. Okay, so username is also an environmental variable, so we should just have user everywhere to not confuse the computer. Okay, and first we're gonna check for admin. So we're gonna, no, we don't even need to check for admin for all of them. We can just have it at the bottom here and call it whenever we need to make sure that the user has admin. Something that you can do is run net session. And if error level is not zero, then you don't have admin. So not equal to zero, then we know that the user does not have admin privileges. Call check admin here, and we're gonna call it here. Okay, so let's give this a try. So now if we try to create a new user, we start the script and run it as admin. Okay, good. So now we can try running it as admin. Now, if we try to create a new user, it lets us in, perfect. Okay, so Ebola. Password Ebola. Huh. Add. Oh, so now, yeah, okay, so now it works. But when I try to do it in my script, it doesn't. Okay, I'm not sure what's up with it. Let me just try that one more time. So create a new user. Okay, so now it completed successfully for some reason, even though I made a mistake here. Okay, wait, let's see that. So if we list users, okay, now we see Ebola is here. All right, so I guess that works. Now let's change the password. So the target user is going to be Ebola and we'll give you perfect. All right, so I guess we did it. The only thing that I would really change from here is adding an error level check. So after every single net user command, just to make sure that, you know, that user exists or, you know, that some other error didn't happen, you can just null this out and uh, check for the error level and figure out the error. Uh, but that's if you're actually, you know, trying to do this. We're just doing this for fun. 
So, and you know, in some of my other videos, I do explain how to do that. Like in the brute forcers for um, SMB and for WinRAR, I show how to handle errors with air level in both of those. So if you really want to add that, just check those out. And yeah, so I guess this is it. So to protect yourself against this in your registry and in other Windows like settings, you can basically disable net user from being able to add users, delete users, or change users passwords because, you know, me personally, I wouldn't want someone with admin privileges to have this sort of power. Bro, this is like the fifth plane in the past two minutes flying above my head. I can't make this up. Okay, I'll just sing, I'll just sing some Brazilian funk while I wait. So as I was saying, to protect yourself, registry, windows settings, MS config. So make sure to disable those settings that I put up on screen for the net user command if you want to stay safe from this, because now you understand how this works. So remember to stay safe, use this video for educational purposes only, like and sub, and I'll see you next time.